Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Or Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be an update for our Sagittarians, okay? So Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It does not matter, love. If you in any way identify as a Sagittarius, then this reading is for you, okay? <clears throat> Let us see, Sag, what messages Spirit has for you on today. I honestly feel um, that a lot of you have been transitioning, all right, um, in many different ways. And some of you are recognizing this for what it is. Others of you, you're still not understanding why you feel the way that you do. But that's why. You're just going through a lot of changes. You're evolving. And as you continue to evolve, certain things that you're interested in, certain people, all of that is going to change, okay? Right along with you. So let us see what messages Spirit has for our Sages on today. All right. What is going on, Sag? What's happening? You seem to be pretty happy. All right. For the most part, if anything comes out that is outside of you, of course, we'll talk about it. But for your energy, it feels really light. Okay. Let us see. Messages for our Sag. We have the Five of Swords in the upright position. Okay. So somebody is feeling some type of way. Somebody is feeling some type of way and has plenty to say, my love. Okay. We have the Knight of Staffs. Okay. <clears throat> interesting so apparently it seems like you're driven you're a super ambitious person like sagittarians usually are and somebody around you seems to lack drive or motivation okay this person has no sense of direction at all and it's like they're mad with you for having one yeah but with the nine of cups here you're still happy that's why i said when it comes to your energy your energy feels great when it comes to whoever this other person is though Okay, the five of swords is also when somebody literally just kicks your back in. They have nothing but nasty things to say about you. And it's simply because you're off doing your thing and not paying them any mind. Okay, let us see. Messages for our Sages. We got the Justice card. Yeah, so a person feels like it's not right that you're living your life and having fun and doing all of these things that you're doing while they're sad and miserable. But I feel like this person kind of caused their own heartache. Because in this card, the person is holding the three of swords themselves. So it's like nobody else caused any of this pain but you and i also feel this person is trying to cause some sort of confusion in your life but you're not confused you're very clear on what it is that you want and how you want to move forward with the nine of swords in reverse and this knight of staffs energy okay so let us see nine of cups messages for our sagittarians please we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so work is looking good. You're working on yourself. You're working on building up your happiness, keeping yourself and your energy content and in place. You are really working hard at this, okay? And when I say working hard on this, I, what I mean is things could be happening around you. Your boss may be getting at you, okay? Your, uh, your co-workers may be getting on your, your nerves or what have you. For those of you who are bosses, you know, your employees may be agitating the hell out of you that day. Whatever it is. But you're just learning how to stay in your zen place you're not giving your energy and your power away to things that are outside of your control okay that's what i mean we have the knight of swords here in reverse yeah so this person the one who lacks direction whoever they are this person is coming back to cause some type of confusion or chaos in your life because they're not sure where they want to go okay so it appears that you're moving forward, you're progressing, like I said, you're evolving, everything's going well with you, and this person feels some type of way, they don't want to be left out of everything you have going on, alright, with the death card in reverse and the five of pentacles. Some of you may have Pisces placements, some of you may also have Virgo placements, because these readings, um, Sagittarian, Virgoan, and Piscean go, go hand in hand, okay, so make sure you check those other ones out, Virgo and Pisces as well, okay. But let us see what we have here. You guys, let's dig into this a little bit and see what messages come out, okay? We got the page of staff. So, <clears throat> somebody is very, very passionate about coming back and telling you how they feel, okay? They are on some they will not rest until they do type of thing, okay? We got the seven of cups. However, like I said, I'm going to keep saying, this person just wants to create illusions and keep you stuck inside of your mind. This person just doesn't want you to move forward, okay? So whatever they can do to keep you stuck, they'll do that. Uh, <clears throat> that's how it feels, and it's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. What do we have? The Hermit Energy in Reverse. You may have not heard from this person in a while. And then they're they're going to come out of nowhere. And you're going to be like, what the? 
Like, it's that type of energy. And it's simply because they've been watching you from afar with the Page of Swords in reverse. And they don't like what they see. Meaning, how dare you move on and not haven't healed, not haven't moved on yet. Or how dare you prosper and not haven't prospered yet. So, with the Ace of Staffs in reverse, it's more manipulation, more deceit, okay? So, I just don't like this person's energy. It's crazy, okay? Over here, we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like at one point in time, this could have been a romantic situation, all right? But now you're just focused on celebrating your life, celebrating your singleness, celebrating whatever else you got going on. But you're really not thinking about the romance. With the Five of Cups, this is certainly somebody from your past in a romantic aspect. And this person is just like, I don't know. I don't know. This person is weird, man. All right, so let us see with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Why, 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 why? Got the Eight of Swords. That's why. All right, because you moved on. I just heard um the Drew Hill song. So funny, yo. <laughs> like, why, why, why? That's how the fuck you feel. This person is like feeling like you got somebody sleeping in their bed, honey. Meanwhile, they left the damn bed. So they created this heartache for themselves, and now they want you to feel bad about it. Somebody sleeping in the bed that your ass got up out and left cold. Oh. And if they ass is, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's how it feels to me. Y'all gonna be cracking the fuck up. Like, did she just do that shit? Yes, she did. Okay. Yes, she did just do that shit. You guys are the king of cups. So, yeah, this person, <laughs> Drew Hill shit, bro. <laughs> Drew Hill shit. We got the queen of staffs right here. Okay. You... <clears throat> fire sign you are not beat you are trusting your intuition you are not staying attached to this low vibrational energy you're not beat you know better than that you know better than that all right we got the five of pentacles they trying to come back like yeah i heard you got that five <laughs> Oh, we got the moon card. Yeah, so this is the truth being exposed here, okay? These person are going to come back, and and when you shut them down, that's when they're going to have all the mean and hurtful and nasty things to say simply because you're not interested. Why would you be, though? They left. Exactly. So, yeah, something that flew out, King of Swords, exactly. That's when they're going to have all the mean, hurtful, all that shit to say. It doesn't matter because you're already in reverse when it comes to the love and when it comes to defending yourself as the Queen of Wands in reverse. As soon as I said that, look, we got the Wheel of Fortune and look what's there. The Queen of Wands in damn reverse. She popped back out. And the Ace of Swords. You're going to block communication. You don't want to talk to this person. You don't see moving forward with that person as an option. It's just, no, you don't think that would be a wise decision with judgment in reverse, okay? So, if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and Aries.